In this video, we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to lead compensator. You can observe this problem here. A lead compensator used for closed loop controller has the following transfer function. In a closed loop controller, we are using this lead compensator and here I am having, so this is the transfer function of that lead compensator. So first such a lead compensator A less than B or B less than A or A greater than KB or A less than KB which condition is suitable. So here this is the transfer function given at which we use the lead compensator. So this is the transfer function given. So anyway if you are having transfer function GC of S, GC of S is the transfer function of the system where we use the compensator. So GC of S is your transfer function so that is this. So when they are saying that is a lead compensator the phase of this transfer function, function should be positive, it should be positive. So that means so for lag compensator that should be negative, for lead compensator that should be positive. So now here you can see the angle of k into 1 plus s by a divided by 1 by s, s by b is a, a, a must be positive, must be positive means so here pole by 0 must be greater than 1. So, pole coefficient by, so this one, 0 coefficient B by A must be greater than 1. So, that means that implies P by B, P by B, so not P by B, A by B must be less than 1. Why I am writing like this means you are having, when you are analyzing lead compensator, lag compensator, lag lead compensator, you consider that compensated transfer function as s plus z by s plus p. So, they given in that form only but in place of a they given in place of z they given a in place of p they given b. So, here what they given z they take in common z into 1 plus z into 1 plus s by z. So, here they take in common of p. So, 1 plus so, S by P. So, you can see now this is in this form K, K means Z by P, 1 plus S by A means S by Z, 1, by, 1 plus S by me, B means 1 plus S by P. Now, here whenever, so that is why I am taking refer, reference of this formula. So, whenever they said this is lead compensator, the angle of this must be positive positive means must be greater than 1. So, here in this case P by Z greater than 1 but here they mentioned A and B. So, that is why I am writing B by A. Pole by 0 must be greater than 1 that is my meaning. Pole by 0 must be greater than 1. So, here pole is B, here 0 is A. So, pole by 0 is greater than 1 means B by A greater than 1 that implies A by B less than 1. So, this shows A less than B. So, this is the condition for lead compensator with this transfer function where you are having A less than B. So, A is your right option. Similarly, for example, if they given this is lag compensator then what we need to do for lag compensator, this is for lead compensator. For lag compensator, B by A must be less than 1 and this one must be negative. Means phase value need to lag, lag means ne negative. So, lead means it is positive, lag means it is negative. So, B by A should be negative means less than 1. So, less than 1 means A by B greater than 1. So, A greater than B will be the condition for lag compensator with the same transfer function. So, then you need to consider B less than A, this one. But for this problem they given, they use lead compensator in closed loop controller. So, with 
So, by this transfer function given according to the data given the condition is A less than B like this way we need to solve problems related to compensators.